salt and pepper, a Rubik's cube, coat hanger, my wallet, a glass of water, with a coaster of course, and a pencil sharpener. Looks good to me. So yeah, I just wanted to grab a bunch of random things and put them together and see what shape I could make. So to start off, I did a really rough sketch, just kind of playing with the shapes and distorting it. After that, I made my own perspective grid and tried to match it to the shape I made. This only takes a few minutes, but this helps me a lot in the long run. Here's the reference photos I used. I pulled pictures from ancient Rome and some Spanish villages that I liked. After that, I turned down the opacity and started going over it with line work. I'm still not really sure what these are going to be as objects, but right now I'm just focusing on getting some good shapes. I mean, I don't know how a glass of water fits into a city, but we're going to figure that out. Okay, so it was at this point that I decided a glass of water could be a coliseum, maybe? Like for ship battles? I don't know, that seems like something that happened in Rome. The coaster could be like a platform it sits on where people can walk in. And then in between that and the salt and pepper shakers would be like the town. For the coat hanger, I thought it'd be good if it um, was like a wall for the city. With a weird shape, I guess, but it kind of works as a wall. The salt and pepper shakers could just be really large towers. I don't know if like who would live there or if that would be like a government building, but I think it'd fit the city pretty well. Okay, so jumping way ahead. I put in all the line work and then turned off the sketch layer. This definitely took a while, so I skipped over most of it, but basically it was just lots of windows, pathways, and trees, and just all the boring things. I find that the more boring things I learn to draw, the better my drawings look, like the more realistic they do. Okay, so here I'm outlining the whole selection with um, the freehand tool. And this is just a way I use to just block in the color really qu quickly. Skipping ahead, I picked out a palette that I liked. Um, it, it, I played around with it for a bit, trying to figure out what colors I wanted to put together. I decided to focus mostly on red, green, and maybe a little blue and yellow. So here I'm just trying to go in with the shadows. Again, this is a really long process, so I kind of just fly through it. Mostly at this point I'm just listening to a podcast or an audiobook. For some reason I imagine the Rubik's Cube and the pencil sharpener is some sort of military tower. I feel like realistically this city couldn't hold too many people. I'm not sure how much, but it, it'd maybe be like a sort of outpost. Like a military stronghold on the outskirts of the Empire. I like the idea of having grass and um, trees on top of the buildings. I don't know what that's called. I know there's a word for it, I'm just blanking right now. At this point, most of the drawing is done, so now I'm just putting in a little bit of highlights and playing around with the colors. I put blue in the background so it fades out to give it a nice little atmospheric effect. And then I brought more yellows into the foreground to try to add some depth. For people, I just use little dots, so they're like little ants everywhere. I usually hate drawing people, so this works out for me. To finish out the drawing, I add some smoke or I guess fog. I don't know what this would be. But again, it just kind of pops out the Colosseum, which is kind of what I want the focal point to be. But yeah, I wasn't sure where this was going to go at all, but I had a lot of fun doing this exercise. So let me know what you guys think. So thanks for watching. Also, shout out to the patrons as always.